The Invisible Brain, Part 1. What's really important about Professor Lorber is that he carried out a series of systematic brain scans over a long period, not just relying on isolated stories, said Patrick Wall. 1925, 2001, a professor of anatomy at University College London. This was quoted in a 1981 Science Magazine article by Roger Lewin discussing Lorber's work. Cases of people living without a brain challenge the usual belief that brain structure is the source of consciousness. Our brains, weighing about 1.4 kilograms and containing roughly 2 billion neurons connected by around 500 trillion synapses, are they truly the origin of consciousness? Some scientists argue that deep, invisible structures within the brain could explain normal cognitive functions even in cases of severe hydrocephalus, brain fluid buildup. These hidden structures might not be easy to see on typical brain scans or with the naked eye. However, just because they're hard to detect doesn't mean they don't exist or aren't crucial for brain function. For centuries, neuroscientists have thought everything they cared about happening in the cortex, but it's very possible that deep brain structures carry out many functions thought to be cortex only, Wall commented in the 1981 article. Norman Geschwind, 1926 to 1984, a neurologist at Harvard's Beth Israel Hospital, noted in the same article that these unknown deep structures are certainly important for many functions. Moreover, David Bauscher, professor of neurophysiology at the University of Liverpool, UK, said in the article, deep structures are definitely more important than we currently think. The origin of consciousness might lie in areas we haven't explored yet. When medical theories hit a wall on a mystery, physics can step in to spice up the story, especially quantum physics.